Implementing Cisco Enterprise Advanced Routing and Services, that is a mouthful of a name for a certification exam. And in this video, we're going to break down what that exam really covers. Let's go. The NRC exam really will take your skills from good to great. And before we break down what that exam covers, if this is your first time visiting my channel and you'd like to grow your IT skills and your IT career, click that little subscribe button, the little bell. It's free to click, and that way you'll get alerted when new content comes available. All right, the NRC exam. What is this exam really all about? It does have advanced in the name. That's what the A stands for. And that really is true. You have to be on an advanced level of routing and services in order to pass this exam. Really what I'd like to say is if you're familiar with the previous CCNP exams, there was route, there was switch, and there was T-shoot, I like to think that if route and T-shoot had a baby, it was this exam. And of course, you know that I'm affiliated with CBT Nuggets and you're wondering if CBT Nuggets is going to cover this exam, you bet it's in production right now. Keith Barker and I are ripping through some of the skills. I'm gonna cover some DNA Center content and Keith Barker is covering, well, a lot of this course. And you know who else is recording a lot for this course? Jeremy Chara. That means this course is gonna be covered by Jeremy Chara, Keith Barker, and then I've got one little skill at the very end. I personally have been peer reviewing some of his content on OSPF for both Encore and the NRC exam, and it's so much fun to do. So let's break down what's really on this exam and talk about the skills that you'll need to have in order to pass. Here we go. I've brought up the exam topics for the NRC exam right there, the 300-410. And before we even jump down to the topics, the first thing that I want to draw your attention to is that this is a 90-minute exam. That basically means this is going to be a smaller exam than the Encore topics. You can see now I'm on the Encore page, which is a 120-minute exam. Beyond that, another thing that we should compare is that there are six domains here for the Encore exam, and that's not the case for the NRC exam. The NRC exam is concentrated into four domains, and that's the next thing you should pay attention to. We've got a 90 minute exam, and we've got four domains that are weighted like this. 35% of the exam is on layer three technologies, 25% of the exam is on infrastructure services. These two domains account for 60% of the exam. So my gut reaction there is to say, you'll probably wanna focus heavily on these two domains and then use these other two domains to beef up your score even higher. We see that VPN technologies and infrastructure security are broken down 20% each. But now what are the exact bullet points? What are the exact topics that are covered on these? Let's expand them now. Well, layer three technologies. Remember I said this is a combination. This exam is basically a combination. If route and T-shoot had a baby, there are 11 bullet points here. Only three of them, 1.6, 7, and 8, aren't troubleshoot. The rest of them are troubleshoot items. The three that aren't are policy-based routing, VRF light, and describe bi-directional forwarding detection. The rest of these are troubleshoot items. And we've got troubleshoot, and you'll notice things that these are dual stacked, IPv4 and IPv6. And that goes the same for BGP2. So it's almost like you kind of have to learn it twice, even though they're very similar among them. You're gonna have to really know the details about how configurations, topologies, and decisions are made within EIGRP, OSPF, and BGP. And the big thing that you'll need to know about these is troubleshooting. What happens when things don't go right? And you know what's really cool about this? In CBT Nuggets course, we have the troubleshooting skills that are gonna be built out, and Keith Barker provides labs associated with each of these. The labs are broken, and it's gonna be on you to figure out how to fix them. What is really going wrong here? And one of the cooler things about it too is maybe the topic is troubleshooting an OSPF area that's failed, but he'll throw in additional things in there that's not only the area has a broken piece somewhere, but also something like a timer is off. It's a really excellent way to beef up your skills when it comes to troubleshooting and prepare you for this exam. Keith is one of the best in the biz, if not the best in the biz, and I feel honored that I get to peer review this content. So immediately, this 35% domain, the layer three technologies, well, this is already a pretty big one. There's a lot of stuff that you'll have to really know and understand in order to troubleshoot when this stuff doesn't work. But let's scroll down some more. 
This is where I like to think the route piece comes in from the old exams, is VPN technologies. We've got DMVPN and its associated technologies like GRE, IPsec, spoke to spoke, you get the idea. All of these things that build these dynamic VPNs between branches, as well as MPLS technologies. So there's no troubleshooting here. There are a couple describes and then one configure. Configure meaning you need to know the commands to actually make this stuff happen. And this is where I like to think the route section comes in. There's also the security section of it. And you could make the argument that IPsec also is a pretty big part of security. But now we're back into troubleshooting. 3.1, 2, and 3 are all troubleshooting security problems. These are all topics that are covered as part of the Encore exam. Things like control plane policing and access control list, but now, rather than configuring and understanding these technologies, it's all about troubleshooting them yet again. And lastly, let's expand domain four, the 25% exam. Well, everything here is troubleshooting, but it's troubleshooting the services that would happen on a network. Things like DHCP, NetFlow, SLAs, or even just remote management to these devices like HTTP, VTY, TFTP, and SCP. But check this out, we also have DNA Center Assurance using the Assurance workflow within DNA Center to monitor the health of our devices, our networks, our sites, and take proactive alerting items to them. DNA Center, obviously, being only one bullet point on this exam, is still relevant. You still need to know it because all of these new iOS XE devices, these Catalyst 9K devices, require DNA Center licensing. Cisco really wants to see DNA Center expanded in your portfolio, and it's a really cool tool that I think it's worth your time checking out. Again, on the Encore course, we have a lot of content on DNA Center, both how the workflows actually work, what SD access is really all about, and then, of course, an automation portion on it. I'd also encourage you to check out the in-auto exam because that has a lot of DNA Center automation as part of it, too. If you're brand new to network automation, there's also the DevNet course. Automation is where things are eventually going to get to, and it's an important skill to pick up along the way. But the NRC exam, it is coming to CBT Nugget soon. Keith Barker, Jeremy Chara, and then me with my one little DNA Center skill are putting it together right now for you, and it's going to be awesome. The virtual labs are really, really going to set you up for success. So get ready because it's going to be a big one and it's going to be a lot of fun. All right, y'all. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you in the next one.